Hey guys, welcome to the Galerno Kitchen again. This is Alexis, I know it's super corny, right? Um, so we wanted to share with you some of the things we're doing this week. Um, so let me just go ahead and go through. We're doing the brown rice again, um, just because it's an easy filler for a complex carbohydrate, a good quality one. This is what I have in the crock pot for right now. So this is just some chicken. Um, I've done some broth, some uh, sliced garlic, some lemon in there. Um, and what I'm going to do with that is when that's finished, I'm going to put it in my containers over here with my vegetables that I already prepared. So it was grapeseed oil, some garlic powder, some little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I just baked those. And those are in here. And this is actually what we had for dinner. So what I normally like to do is I like to cook extra dinner and then whatever's left over, um, that's what we take for lunch the next day. So that's chicken, some zoodles, I made some little homemade little pesto, and um, some tomatoes. Um, okay, so then what I like to do for my weekly um, way of doing things too is kind of feed off of what we did the week before or if I have leftovers and things. Um, well, real quick, let me show you this. Last week I did egg cups. This week I was doing the same idea, but it's turkey bacon on the outside. There's um, shredded kale down in the bottom, and then I broke some eggs in it. So that'll be a nice play on kind of what we did last week. Um, so last week I had the wraps with peanut butter and banana for a snack while well, I had leftover wraps. So what I decided to do is I actually just took kitchen shears, cut them into fourths, and I put them on here. I sprayed them with some uh, garlic, uh, or some grapeseed oil, and I chose to season them with some Fiesta lime so uh, seasoning because I'm going to bake those, and those will be great for this that I'm making. So what I did is it's just an easy way to do it. Sometimes I'll do chicken first, bake some chicken, but for this instance, so I want something quick, I just got a rotisserie chicken. I've used the breast off the chicken. I've cut it up and I have added two avocados. So I just mash those, put those in there. Um, a lemon juice, which, so this is some lemon that I had left over from my chicken. So I'm able to use over here now. I squeeze the lemon juice out and this is just a nice little thing. Sometimes I will do half avocado and half peas because it'll still give that green um, effect and, and texture, but it won't have as much of the fat as the avocado, but it's still a better alternative to mayonnaise and things like that. And I added some mustard in there as well. You can season it with whatever you'd like. Another thing that you can add with this is you can slice cucumbers and you can dip in that with cucumber or use the, the little um, pita chips that I made and dip into there. So that's a good snack. Um, so this is something I'm kind of experimenting with this week. Um, I have some um, a vanilla extract, some unsweetened applesauce, some honey in here, and then I have some oats and I have three scoops of our vanilla muscle game in here. And what I'm going to do is my idea is I'm making key lime um, cookies. So I'm going to take our limeade spark, I'm going to put it in there and mix it all together and then I think I have a little glaze worked up. So I'm going to cook those, that's going to be a little treat for me and my husband, which will be a guilt-free treat because it's going to be our protein and our complex carbs and our spark, which is amazing. So it's a great way to flavor it that um, is not going to give you any extra of the calories or things that you don't need. And here's just another idea of some things. Um, so. For peanut butter, peanut butter is a great snack or almond butter. Just get a good quality of whatever you use. And normally you would get, sometimes there's flavored rice cakes. Well, this is a thing that I like to do sometimes is take just regular rice cakes, take your peanut butter, and this is great to portion out and take this with you. And pumpkin spice seasoning, just sprinkle that in there, mix it all around. And when you put that on there, it will change the entire flavor of that. You can do that or you can just put an apple in there. Um, there's other things you can do as well. You can do garlic powder, onion powder, um, or like a ranch uh, on your rice cake, whatever works for you. But just another alternative to um, the rice cake without having all those other sugars from those other kinds of rice cakes. And you can, if you do the ranch flavor, you can always dip it in hummus, which is a great snack. So I hope this helps and gives you a little more ideas. Um, visit our blog. It's www.triumphzone.com. Check out our blog. We're going to have all these video posts and we are going to have recipes. The recipes, so if you want to know the ingredients and what's actually in there, those are going to be coming up. So it's a work in progress. Just be patient with us. But I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next week. Thanks.